This video is my opinion. This is a model of Jean Benet's body, 47 inches long with ligatures attached. The ligatures were not props in any kind of stage he meant to fool police. The ligatures were functional. They were used to pose the body. The murder of Jean Benet by her mother was a classic murder posing of the corpse by a person in the grip of a psychosis. The reason there are 17 inches of cord from the loop around the neck to the handle is the handle had to clear the head as it was brought up and placed into a holder of some kind or a hole with the other end protruding out. This put the torso in a vertical pose. It may have been in a kneeling, seated, or standing position, but the torso at least had to be vertical. A hanging was not the goal, posing was. The reason the knot was large is it had to hold the weight of the body without slipping. The reason there is 15 inches of cord between the loops around the arms is the cord was brought up over the head and placed on the holder or the protruding end of the stick to produce this pose. This pose had meaning to Patsy. This is from Steve Thomas's book. Patsy's two sisters, Pam and Polly, arrived from Atlanta. The two sisters settled in beside Patsy and read the Bible to her, all three waving their arms in the air and moaning. One said she had a vision in which Jean Benet was an angel. In prayer, Patsy's sisters, Pam and Polly, waved their arms over their heads and loudly called for heavenly help. This is from an illustrated encyclopedia of traditional symbols. Arms upraised denote supplication, prayer, surrender. The upraised arms of the orant can depict piety or the soul of the person. The hand is one of the most symbolically expressive members of the body. Both hands raised denote supplication, weakness, and implication of ignorance, dependence, surrender, also invocation, and prayer. It is my opinion that, that this pose had to do with victory in Patsy's mind, the same victory in the sign-off of the ransom note. This type of symbolic mythic imagery is typical of psychosis. Note the position of the head. It is my opinion that this is when the blow to the head occurred. I refer you to my first video on the head wound. Again, this was a symbolic act probably having to do with sending the spirit to the spirit realm. After this ceremony, the body was brought down, placed in the small room, arms repositioned to the pose just described, wrapped, and duct tape applied. This set the kidnapping scenario up in Patsy's mind and erased any difficult memory of the preceding ceremony. She then penned the note, having composed it in her mind in the prior weeks and months. If you want to catch the psychotic killer, you have to think like a psychotic.